So, I was wanting to do a video today um, on the actual hardware on the deck here. And where I started and what I've done. So, I'll put some pictures along with what I used this time uh, to rebed all the hardware. So, I did not do the drill and fill method like I did on the San Juan. And I used butyl tape this time. On the San Juan 21, when I pulled off the deck hardware, I actually drilled and filled it with epoxy and everything. But the deck itself was in really good shape. The balsa wood was in really good shape on that boat. And it's because they used butyl tape, which um, I went ahead and used 4200 sealant. But on this boat... I was like, you know, if that butyl tape lasted for 35 years and it didn't damage the balsa wood, then why not do that on this one? So I pulled all of the hardware off of this and rebedded it with butyl tape. Yeah, it can be messy because you got to kind of cut it as it molds to the deck over time but i mean i had really good luck on the san juan after 35 years it didn't leak at all so this actually looked like it was a plywood interior uh deck interior sandwiched between two pieces of fiberglass with it looked like plywood um from what i could see inside which it used to have a carpet here and when I pulled this carpet off um, you could see the wood up in there and it looked like plywood uh, everything was pretty good except I did have one cut right up let's see if I can point to it right in there there's one cut so I filled it with epoxy later on I'll probably paint this deck and um, reseal all the hardware again but I'm trying to get it out on the water this year it's October now it's getting cold so I've actually been doing the mast over there but uh, we're gonna try to get it out next week and then sail on it but I want to do a quick video on me taking all the hardware off some pictures of what the boat looked like back then and a year later what this is looking like now so uh enjoy the pictures <laughs> 